Yay, hello and welcome. It's Friday Live. My name's Lena V. I'm a qualified hypnotherapist and I'm here to help you achieve unstoppable confidence on social media. Today, I am going to give you 21 plus Facebook Live video ideas and by the end of today's video make sure you watch it right to the end because i've got a really special bonus tip at the end that's going to maximize the time you're using to create your facebook live videos and you will never ever ever have to think of ideas ever again you can keep coming back to this video and all of these ideas you can keep using before we get into the 21 Facebook live video ideas, I wanted to give you some pointers, okay? And these are really important. So, so you can skip on if you want to the 21 ideas, but I really suggest that you listen to this first, okay? Hey, Wicked Gamer, how are you? So the first thing I want to say to you is that you can recycle your ideas. If you're planning on going live once a week on Facebook, some people, you know, even are so incredible and they're able to do a, a, a one live every day. You don't have to come up with 365 new video ideas. You can keep recycling them, okay? Because it is quite unlikely that if you're doing a Facebook live video on day one, even if you repeated that 30 days later, no one is really going to notice, okay? So that's my first kind of top tip when you're doing your Facebook Live videos is you can recycle your ideas, you can tweak, you can adjust, you can use those Facebook Live videos on other social media platforms as well, okay? My top tip number two when creating your Facebook Live videos, this is power, okay? ask people to share the video. Here on YouTube, yeah, of course, I would love for you to share this, but on Facebook, it's just so much more easier for more people to find out about you. Because if someone is watching your video and then you ask them, you know, if you found this video, video valuable, click on the share button, when they share that video, that's going on their timeline, their Facebook timeline, and all of their friends and family are seeing it. So whatever you do, every time you do a Facebook Live, you must, must, must ask people to share that video. That's how your Facebook Lives are going to gain momentum. And if you're, you know, a business owner like me, or you're self-employed, and you want more people to find about, find out about your products and services, then you've got to tell people to share because you want that word of mouth marketing. You want that social media marketing to work for you. Okay. And the third thing I want to say is, so cheesy, isn't it? But it's be you, be yourself. Perfection is an illusion, okay? Perfection doesn't exist. Stop waiting for you to kind of master the skills of going live and doing live videos because you're gonna be waiting for the rest of your life. It's really about, and this comes to creating a YouTube channel. It comes to do with nearly everything in life is just do it because that's when the true learning begins. You can read all the books, you can watch all of these top tip videos, you can do all of that for years and never make any progress. The only way you're gonna make progress is pressing that go live button on Facebook and getting your experience that way, okay? So that is my like pep talk <laughs> for you today. Those top tips, remember them, recycle your ideas, ask people to share your Facebook Live and just get on with it. Just do it because perfection kills productivity. If you're waiting for something to be perfect, you're killing your own productivity levels, okay? Wicked Gamer says, take action, exactly. That used to be one of my phrases I used to say all the time is, just take action, take action today, not tomorrow. So let's get in to these 21 day Facebook Live video ideas. So number one is do a live at an event. Really be in the moment, okay? I love doing lives, Facebook lives from events because they're so easy, because there's so much going on. I know a lot of us haven't been to events because of obviously what's been going on in the world, but 
doing live videos, when you go to networking events, when you go to a business event, whatever event it is, it might be a workshop, that is your prime opportunity to get content for yourself and your brand or business. Because you can go around and interview people, you can show people on a Facebook Live what is going on. If someone can't make a specific workshop or a concert or wherever it is, you can be that person showing them what's going on at the event. Number two, interview an expert. Why interviewing people on Facebook Live is so amazing is because all the pressure is off you. All the pressure is off you then. Number one, the pressure's off you. Number two, you're going to be seen as an authority because if you, I don't know, say you're a a new baker, (laughs) you've opened a new restaurant, whatever it is, and you're interviewing someone like, I don't know, Gordon Ramsay or, or some other chef, you're instantly being connected with that expert because you are interviewing them. Okay, there's so many benefits of reaching out to people and interviewing them on a Facebook Live. And also it's easy. You don't have to worry about all the tech. So even on today's live stream, I've got kind of like an external webcam. I've got an external microphone here. I've had to sort out the lighting a bit and, and all the rest of it. So it can take, I do the easiest, the easiest YouTube live setup, but it can take time on Facebook Live, all you do is press the go live button. And then you tell the person you're interviewing to watch that live video, they request to go live with you and bang, you have done it. So it's so, so simple, especially if you want to build up to doing a YouTube channel, Facebook Live and Instagram Live are a great way to boost up and build up your confidence and really get that experience in doing live videos. Number three is interview a peer. Interview someone that's similar to you. And by doing this, you're gonna be building your network. And remember, there's enough out there for everyone. So me, I could interview another hypnotherapist. That doesn't mean like, oh, I shouldn't do that because they're a hypnotherapist as well. Clients might go to them. There is enough clients, there is enough money, for every single person out there. Believe that because it is true. And why it's such a great way to interview someone similar to you is because you're building your own network of people. Then you could find the most, you just reach out to people you do not know. It's okay. Do you know what? You could reach out to 20 people to do a Facebook Live interview with you. And 19 people may say no, but one of them will say yes. Okay. So make sure you're reaching out to as many people as possible, getting that experience and just interviewing people. Have fun. This is what Facebook live and social media is all about. It's all about having fun, building up your communication skills, and also building your brand at the end of the day. So just, just have fun with this. Um, number four, do a product demonstration. So actually, on on cue right here, I've got these tripods, oh, these tripods that I sell. So you could do a Facebook Live showing your product. And, you know, these ideas, don't think they're boring. Sometimes you'll hear a list of ideas, you'll be like, well, who, who's going to watch that? Like, who's going to watch me at an event? Who's going to watch me showing a product or talking about one of my services? But trust me. People love videos like that. I mean, have you ever watched a video and you're like, after you're like, why did I watch that? Or have you ever watched a video that has got thousands of views and you're like, how have so many people watched it? So don't, no, no video idea is boring. Just try it out, okay? Live video, social media, it's all about trial and error. Even today with me coming live on YouTube, I usually give YouTube tips at this time. But I took a bit of a a little risk today because I wanted to try something different. Rather than doing YouTube tips every Friday, I wanted to give you that live video content ideas. And the people that usually tune in to my YouTube video tips, 
mate, they're probably not going to watch this video. <laughs> like they're probably not going to watch it. But you've got to be trying new ideas all the time. If you don't try something new, how are you ever going to know the result? So, um, yeah, as I was saying, number four idea show people your product, like tell them what it does, really show the features because sometimes on a sales page, if you're selling something, there's just something so different about doing a live video because not only can you talk about your product or service, you can ask, um, you can answer people's questions that are watching you live as well, okay? Number five, this may seem like a bit of a boring one, but show your website. If you've got a website, do a screen share, get your mobile phone and show people what's on your website. Really direct them. Like if you've got a free ebook or a free video series, actually show them this is how you download it. You know, make it exciting. You, again, you might think it's boring to do that, but the people that are friends of you on Facebook or that have liked your Facebook page, may not know you have a website, okay? Just because you might go on your website every day and you know you've got it, it doesn't mean other people know what you do or what you have out there on the ethernet, on the internet, okay? Um, Wicked Gamer says, Vina, is that for sale? Yeah, uh, talking about sales pages, I haven't got a sales page for this at the moment, but if you email me, um, I can, um, yeah, I can send you the page when it is live. And these are amazing. I'm going to be doing actually, as for my summer sale, a buy one, get one free of these. Um, so yeah, if you just email me, I will actually, I will write my email in the chat. So you can just email me. And when that page is up, I will send you uh, the link to it. Right. Bonus tip. Oh, I'm not going to give you it now, actually. Keep watching <laughs> until the end for this bonus tip because all these ideas I'm giving you, um, yeah, they're going to really... Don't ever think you're wasting time with a Facebook Live because there's lots of things you can do with that Facebook Live after. But we will talk about that more at the end of today's video. Number six, do a video diary. So, for example, um, I don't think Gary Vaynerchuk does... There's a guy, this business guy who I, I haven't actually watched him for ages on YouTube, but I used to watch him a lot. And he just literally films everything. He films meetings. He films him, films him uh, himself going in a cab to somewhere, films himself at events. Actually, a lot of these ideas he is already doing. Millions of subscribers on YouTube and, and millions of uh, followers on all the other social media platforms. And again, you might think that's boring, but people are interested. Imagine someone's watching your Facebook Live and they don't live in your area. Maybe to you, it's normal to live by the beach. Maybe to you, it's normal to live around fields or live in the city, but to other people, it's not. So get out your phone, start a Facebook Live wherever you are. And you might do a quick one on the way um, to a meeting and just Fill people in. Do it like a video diary. What is going on in your life? If you've got any questions, by the way, make sure you pop them in the chat. If you're watching this on the replay, comment them below this video as well. Number seven. So we've talked about filming on the way to the meeting. What about filming in the meeting? Now, obviously, you're going to have to ask the people that are part of that meeting and it's understandable if they don't want a camera shoved there <laughs> and you're live on Facebook. But why don't you do a Facebook Live after the meeting? You can, you know, again, it's going to just give you that edge. It's going to be like, oh, no one's ever done this before. And that's going to be something maybe really exciting um, for them to do as well. So think about how you can build video into your life, make it a habit and just just think, really kind of think right now, even if you need to pause the video, where are bits in your life that you could actually do a Facebook Live on the way to a meeting, at a meeting, doing a consultation, at an event, um, before you're about to do a phone call, whatever it is, there's so many opportunities already in your life where you can fit in doing a Facebook Live. I'm going to make this kind of like a list. So we're going to go faster here, okay? So get your pens and paper if you haven't done so already. 
Number eight, turn your customer questions into videos. So if you've got customers at the moment and they're always asking you the same questions, what you can do is turn those questions into Facebook Live videos. Then instead of repeating yourself to people all the time, you can just send them that link to that Facebook Live video and kabam, they've they've got the answer in there. Not only are you giving them the knowledge and the answer that they wanted, but it's also building up your Facebook business page at the same time. Because more than likely, they're going to watch that video, they're going to like it, and hopefully they'll build up your engagement as well by um, sharing or commenting on that video as well. Number nine Facebook Live video idea is if you don't have customers, if you don't have questions from customers that you can turn into videos, don't worry. Don't worry, my friend, because you can, where, where are we on right now? We are on YouTube, okay? And YouTube comment section is a gold mine for inspiration for video content ideas. In the comment section, go on like, a channel that's got a, I don't know, like a few thousand subscribers or more than that, and go and look at their most popular videos, go and look at the comment section, and they'll be full of comments on there. Start writing them down and turn those comments, those questions in the comment section into videos. Number 10, interview a client. Now, when I was doing my notes for today's video, I was like, oh yeah, I need to do this myself. So I'm currently running a 21 day camera confidence challenge. And I've got a lovely group of women uh, in there at the moment. And I was like, oh, I can actually do Facebook lives with those ladies and get live testimonials from them, get live feedback from them. And not only that, they are going to be practicing. So the whole camera confidence challenge is all about teaching them how to do this, a live video, and then also for them to do it themselves. So that's going to give them experience as well, going live on Facebook if I interview them on there as well. Also, don't forget with those Facebook live videos, you can also embed them onto your website. So not only can I get these live testimonials from a Facebook live, I can put that video onto my website as well. There's so much, there's so many unlimited opportunities when you start building up your confidence and going live on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, okay? I promise you, like, so many unlimited opportunities and unlimited ideas that you can do as well. But I really hope these 21 we're going through today just really help you to get started and not even get started you will not need to think of any ideas for a heck of a long time because you just go through all of these and then keep recycling them. Um, number 11, you could start a series. So you could do something like, I don't know, like nighttime chats or afternoon tea. Um, again, I was going to do, I think I did something actually a few years ago. I did a Facebook live series on one of my uh, business pages and it was called like tea... I, was, I think it was called like afternoon tea with Vina V or, or something like that. Um, so there's all these things you can do. Again, build in Facebook Lives into your routine. If there is a 10 minute slot you've got, um, I don't know, like you're waiting for a bus or something, whatever it is, like you could do bus chats. There's just so many ideas that, that you can try out, okay? try them out. Some of them will work and some of them won't. And that's okay. But like I said before, if you don't at least try, no one is going to know. If you don't at least try, not even no one is going to, you're not going to know the result. Okay. So make sure you do it. Right. It's really hot here in the UK, by the way. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you can tell. I have to have a little, a little break, sip on my water. I'm not going to complain because here in the UK, it's usually cold. And then we're all like, oh, it's so cold. So I take that back. I'm not even going to talk about the weather right now. I'm just going to fan, fan myself. Uh, number 12 is do a behind the scenes of an event or working 
on making something. I saw someone do this the other day and I was like, what a brilliant idea. She was live, was it on? No, it wasn't on, I think she was live on TikTok, okay? And she was doing a live video behind the scenes of her making a course. And I just thought that's that's a genius idea because not only is she showing people how she's making this course that she's gonna sell, those people that were watching that live they got to get that content for free. So they were really benefiting. Not only were they watching her live on TikTok, they were getting that information for free that other people are going to pay for. Really think about what could you do behind the scenes? I could have done a Facebook live before I went live here on YouTube and I was showing people my setup. I was showing people, you know, how do I get prepared for a YouTube live? Now, what, uh, again, I'm kind of thinking as I'm talking to you right now, because maybe next week I will actually do that because then some of my Facebook audience may come over to my YouTube channel because they've just seen me live on Facebook and then maybe they'll be interested on how this live video looks after I've taken them behind the scenes. Uh, Number 13. If you've got a business, or but I really wanted that to sink in with you, by the way, Facebook Live video idea number 12, behind the scenes. You can do behind the scenes of anything. So please write these down if you're not doing so already. Uh, number 13, if you've got a business, employee spotlight. Get your employees involved. Like get them involved in you growing your social media presence, especially if, you know, you can see some of them want to be on camera. Some of them might want to go on social media. Maybe you could use it as some kind of, I don't know, like time away from from their desk or whatever their normal day to day is. You're never going to know what your employees like until you try them out. So that could be a really good idea. Do like an employee spotlight or an employee day in the life of, uh, Facebook Live. Again, take these ideas and mold them to your own situation. Number 14, kind of uh, integrated with that idea, a Facebook Live at work. So maybe once a month, you could set up your phone in in the business environment and maybe like just have it running for an hour. So people can see, again, it's that behind the scenes idea of what actually goes on. I would actually love to see a Facebook Live being set up like in the kitchen of Nando's. Like I would just love it to see what goes on, like how busy it gets sometimes. Like just, I don't know how they make grill the chicken, like stuff like that. It, it seems sometimes so silly, these ideas, but they can actually be really fascinating and really interesting. So you might want to try that idea. Idea number 15, quick tips. When you go live on social media, you don't have to go live. Like sometimes with these lives, sometimes they go on for nearly an hour long. You don't have to do that. You can go live for a few minutes and call it quick tips. Maybe I'll do that next Friday. There's just a really like quick, quick YouTube tips um, video. Again, make that into a series. Make it something that people remember. And they're like, oh, every Thursday and Friday, 2 p.m., um, Emily is going to go live on her cooking Facebook page and she's going to do uh, quick tips, like how to get healthy in two minutes. Something like that. Yeah, the, there's just unlimited amounts of inspiration and ideas you can get from these 21 Facebook Live video ideas. Number 16, tutorials. You know, I do a lot of tutorials on my YouTube channel, but I could do a tutorial on Facebook Live. How to use a specific bit of equipment. How to, you can do screen shares on Facebook Live as well if you're doing it from your... um computer. So I could share my screen of, I don't know, how to create a YouTube channel from scratch. Again, so many, so many things that you can do. Number 17, the biggest mistakes that you've made. Are there any big mistakes you've made in your career that you can share with people? Just do a nice sit down video like this, what we're doing today. And yeah, just do it like a chit chat video. Talk to them about mistakes you've made 
getting to where you are. People love those videos and I call them clickable videos. So if you call your Facebook live video, something like, I don't know, the five biggest mistakes I made to becoming an entrepreneur, to becoming a coach, to be whatever it is. People love videos like that. I call them clickable videos because people are going to think, well, I don't, I don't want to make those same, I don't want to make those same mistakes. So click on the video and watch it. Number 18, are you an author? Do you know an author? Do you ever want to write a book? A Facebook Live video idea for you is reading something from your book. And before you're like, no, I'm not an author, but you can use that video for something within your niche as well. So if you are an entrepreneur or business owner, you might want to read, I don't know, a paragraph, a quote, a, a page of something from your favorite business book, a page from your favorite um, life coaching book, cooking book, whatever it is. With all these ideas, remember, mold it to you and your niche and what you're currently doing. So I gave the idea for authors reading something from their latest book that's going to be coming out in a month. But you can take the idea and actually, oh, maybe I should read out something. I'm, you know, reading this amazing book at the moment and I really want to share it with people. Getting on social media is all about having fun and sharing your knowledge, sharing sh something you're doing, okay? There's so much power in doing that. Number 19, we are nearly there, guys. Number 19, do a free taster session. So if you're a coach, whatever you coach someone in, why don't you do like a free taster session on Facebook Live? I'm a hypnotherapist. And if you've never heard of hypnotherapy, you might think, Oh, what, what does she do in her sessions with people? So I could do a Facebook Live showing people what I would do in a session with them and really helping people to understand what it is. And whatever you do, comment below this video. I'm so interested. What do you do? What's your YouTube channel about? What's your Facebook page about? Let me know and I can help you with more ideas as well. Or hopefully one of these ideas really sticks out to you and you can take it and run with it and do it for your next Facebook Live as well. Number 20, I used to think this idea was so like, what? But then I realized, oh, people like these videos. Unboxing videos are so popular. As you know, on YouTube, they're really popular, but try them on Facebook Live as well. Do an unboxing. If you've got a new phone, do an unboxing of it. Got a new bit of, I don't know, a new microphone. Do an unboxing of it. Whatever it is, unbox it on a Facebook Live. And I bet that will increase um, your views and um, up your engagement. Just try it and let me know how you get on with that idea. And number 21, the bonus idea, the 21 Facebook Live video ideas for you. What you can do. Because some people might think sometimes, oh, I'm wasting my time doing these social media videos. I'm wasting my time going live on Facebook. Your time is never wasted because number one, you are practicing your communication skills. It's this may look easy, but once you start doing it, that first bit, like when you get into it, this is natural. I just feel like I'm talking to my friend, like you're my friend and I'm just talking to my friend right now. But when you start doing live videos, it can be really daunting, especially if no one is watching your videos. Even today, like usually I have at least like 10, 20 people watching this live and then, you know, it, it'll rake up in the views after. But today, but Wicked Gamer, I think he stayed here. Oh, and EJ Sniper Pro is here. Imagine if I stopped doing this video because there was hardly anyone watching me live. Like, what is the point of that? I would have, number one, never got this experience of going live. Number two, I would have never tried, this is a new live video idea for me on my own YouTube channel because I don't usually talk about Facebook ideas on a Friday. It's all about YouTube tips, hence why there's much less <laughs> people here today. But it's all about trial and error. And I've said this a million times too, but if you don't try something, 
How are you ever going to know the outcome of it? You're not. And then you're always going to live with what if. And I don't want to live like that. What if? Um, This is a kind of long explanation to what I was going to say. But with your Facebook Live, you're not wasting time. Because like I said, you're practicing, you're getting the experience, you're doing trial and error. But with your Facebook Live video, you can download it onto your computer after... And then you can repurpose that content. So it not only live. So if you are a bit like, oh, no one watched that video. And I put so much effort into it. Number one, remember what I said right at the beginning of this video. You can recycle that idea. You can use it again. But number two, you can repurpose that video. You can put that video on LinkedIn. You can put that video on your YouTube channel. And the bonus tip, You can take that video, strip the audio and make it into a podcast. Obviously, you can't do that with every Facebook Live idea because like if I was doing a, you know, I was showing you this tripod and I was doing a product demonstration, that's not really going to work on a podcast. But if you're giving someone top tips or talking about your biggest mistakes or interviewing someone, You can strip that audio out by simply dropping it into a free software like Audacity. Um, Or if you've got a Mac, there's GarageBand as well. So, so many things you can do. Unlimited ideas. Those are 21 Facebook Live video ideas for you. And you never have to think of anything again. Try those 21 ideas out. Let me know how you get on. Comment below as well. Which ones will you be trying? Maybe you're going to take some of those and try them on a different social media platform like Instagram or YouTube or LinkedIn or whatever it is, okay? Just let me know. And the video right there, that's a whole playlist of lots of Facebook Live tutorials for beginners, Facebook Live tips for beginners. So make sure you watch that video right there. And I will see you next Friday at 2 p.m. BST. Remember, you're so unique. You're so special. You are unstoppable, okay? Keep getting out your comfort zone. Build up your confidence. And just, just live your life. Live your life and be happy. And I'll see you next Friday.